here. She is very well known out here. She comes a lot uh, by recommendation. Everybody wants to know when um, this community is going to come out. See, I do smoke a lot of weed, so I'm really bad with names. But, you know, Danny D. She names me all the time. together it wouldn't have been rape. <laughs> you go up to a room with a celebrity, you know what's gonna happen. Like when I get a little more famous and I take a guy with me, he knows he's gonna put out. Why would I take you up to my hotel room? What did you think we were gonna do? I don't know. I made out with a guy at a bar last night. That's fancy. Stole his flannel. Made out in his truck. <laughs> I was like, I live down the street, why don't we just go to my house and fuck? Um, but he was like, no, let's make it out in the truck. And I was like, that's, I'm 40. You're really gonna fuck me at my house on my airbed? Or you're gonna let me go? I'll go fuck the other guy that looks like you that's here. Cause I have a certain type, everyone does, right? I like I'm 5'11 with domestic violence. They have a neck tattoo with their area code. Very specific type. They've been to prison. Not just jail, I want prison. Hard time. Yes! You like to role play by coming in my window with an orange jumpsuit on? You just escaped. You would be perfect for it, sir. Honestly, I have a Sharpie in my fanny pack. We can draw whatever area code you want on there. You just figure it out. Is that your wife? She like you? Sometimes, I get it. You're a guy. I understand sometimes. I know I'm fucking impossible to date. That's why I've been single for so long. I'm just not a good time anymore. <laughs> guys are like, I'm all, because I'm still super horny. How long have you guys been married? Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't expect you to be like long, long married. <laughs> Shit, how did you get that? You got her when she was young, that's the answer. <laughs> she aged gracefully. That's why she doesn't like you that much. You didn't. <laughs> Are you one of those guys that looks better with your hat on? You look all right with it off too? Are you a Tim McGraw? Oh yeah, you're just my fucking type. God damn it. <laughs> Keep the hat on, sir. Keep the hat on. <laughs> I know I've told you I made out with a boy last night, but that's all right, he wasn't in this city. It's okay, we can make out. You have a truck, I bet. You look like you have a truck. He's like, I just sold it. Just got rid of it. He's got a family wagon. Ugh. That's the worst thing a guy can tell me is he has custody of his children. Why, did you kill the mom? <laughs> you have a fucking six-year-old? Gross. Do you? Yeah. Oh my god, no. Gr disgusting. <laughs> no, but you're, but hold on, whoa, whoa, let's break it down here. You're not her mother. Yeah. Oh, you are. You guys just had a baby before you got married. 19. You did it the right way. Me too. Woo woo. Teenage pregnancy is fun. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I still, you know, after the first abortion, you know, I didn't think I would still be a teenage pregnant person, but it, it still worked out. Still worked out. Isn't that funny how that comes back around? Didn't work the first time. <laughs> no, I've never met a kid that's made it past the abortion. All right, so those are your parents. That's fun. Your parents are a hot couple. Is it weird that people are hitting on your dad right in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> My kids think it's weird when we go out and I get hit on. Because they're like, she's not who we think she is. She is a degenerate. She wakes up at 2 p.m., watches some Law & Order, and then goes to the bar and sings karaoke. It's not a fun time. 
So my daughter really hated it when I started fucking her friends. You know? Oh my god, as soon as she turned 18, I was like, oh, well, let's look at the senior pictures. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> Which ones do I like? And she's like, I don't know that one, I don't know that one. And I'm like, why didn't you hang out with hotter guys in school? I don't understand, now I gotta wait till your brother's 18? It's in two years. I've been waiting 18. Uh, well, it's a good thing you guys are happily married, all right, okay. That's fine. I've been married twice. Don't make mistakes now you, that you're young and you have your whole life ahead of you. Don't get married when you're young. Please don't do what your parents did. It's not gonna work out for you, I promise you. It rarely does. Like, your parents must have a lot of patience, or I don't really know. Your dad must have money. That's usually it's one or the other. It's one or the other. Or maybe that's just how they do it in Calusa. Maybe that's just how they do it here in old, tiny Calusa. You know? An hour and a half out of sack, marriages work. I should have. I should have done that with my ex-husband. Come to Calusa. We'd still be married to this day. Now, my uh, first husband, I told him if he played with the Xbox more than my box, we were done. I was like, you buy one more RPG game. You know what that is, right? What's an RPG game? You fucking know. Role playing game needs one person. One person gets to play that game. That doesn't work when you're fucking married. I want to play. How do you play? Uh, it's one fucking person. Why'd you buy that fucking video game? <sighs> Anyways, he can play all the RPG games he wants now. <laughs> He's remarried. Thank God. Thank God he got remarried. Not that he was like stalking me or anything, because that's kind of what I wanted. But no, he just, he, some men have to be taken care of. Like your husband, I'm sure, if you ever left him, which I'm sure, you know, you might one day. But if you ever did, he would immediately have to remarry. He can't take care of himself. He probably doesn't even know the difference between the washer and the dryer. I feel like you do a lot of things. That's all I'm saying. You don't, don't tell me more. He just takes care of you. He makes money. Eat your pussy right. Oh. God damn. And he looks good. <laughs> We need to come to Calusa more. <laughs> I mean, I'm not looking for anyone to be married for 25 years. That's too long. That'd be my third husband. The statistics of that working out are too much. I don't even think I'm going to live another 25 years. That's too long. I'm 40. I'm hopefully almost done. <laughs> I'm fucking tired. <laughs> And I didn't do anything today that would make me tired. Not a thing. I woke up and I watched Step Brothers. I woke up at 1.30 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, and I masturbated too, and that was fun. You know how much fun it is to masturbate on an airbed? Yeah, don't find out. Go to college. Yeah, just go to college, young one. How many kids do you guys have? Just the 20 years? Four? You had four children? Oh, that life's not fair. I have two and I still look like I'm pregnant and my son just turned 17. So, I was one of those chicks that didn't gain any weight when they were pregnant because I was just already fat. That's what happens. It's like some women are like, oh my God, I gained 30 pounds. And I'm like, I didn't even know I was pregnant. I just went, I went to the doctor because I wanted to get more depo and they were like, no bitch, you're pregnant. And I was like, oh shit, it's too late for an abortion. Okay, all right. Your parents must love you though, they kept all four of you. <sighs> I could have had four or five kids, but I only have two. I always like to tell my two kids they should feel blessed because I aborted the rest. Um, I wanted them to know they were special, but honestly I didn't want to deal with multiple baby daddies. You know, you just stuck with the same one a long time. I don't want to deal with more men's bullshit just because we had two minutes of fun for him. That's not fun for me. I hate children. <laughs> Kick them. Because I feel like if you have custody of your child and your kid's always around, that's not fair. We're going to get a little dark, even darker than we've already gotten. Um, you know, because if I'm dating you and you have a kid, it's a competition, right? Spend time with me. I'm one of those. Spend time with me. And I can give you a blowjob and your kid can't. So, or should it? It's frowned upon. It's frowned upon. It's frowned upon. Uh, I mean, I'm no one to judge. I don't know, you figure it out for yourself, but I probably won't date you if your kid does that. 
<laughs> I don't, I draw the line there. So I've never had to come across that, but I do draw the line there. I'd rather you have herpes or gonorrhea, syphilis. Herpes at least comes around every once in a while. <laughs> the others you can get rid of, easy, two weeks, summer two pills. Yeah, I've had a lot of STDs, you guys. Just tell them the truth out here. It's so easy now, sometimes you don't even know you have it. And then they're like, oh yeah, you gave me chlamydia. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's probably me. You're probably right. <laughs> It's weird, like, sometimes you'll sleep with a guy and he'll be like, oh, I have chlamydia, and I'll be like, I, I probably gave it to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's probably me. You probably got that one from me. I should go get checked out. I got some phone calls to make, too, because you're not the only one. Uh -huh. It's probably how I got it in the first place. I had a friend call me the other day, she was really upset. Um, she was crying. She was like, I found out some horrible news, and I was like, oh, don't call me. I'm not the friend to call. I'm like, what's wrong? And she's like, I have HPV. And I was like, bitch, everyone has that. I've had that forever. She's like, I was like, you want to go to the bar and drink it away? She was like, does alcohol get rid of it? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it does. Let's go. Let's go to the bar you got it at. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, you know, this is a small town. I'm sure some of you guys fuck each other. I mean, if I, if I was in this town, I was just looking at Tigger, actually. I was on Tigger, like, within a 10-mile radius. I was like, okay, that was a good one. That's a good one. I might need a place to stay. I don't know. Tonight. <laughs> Promise you to drive me home tomorrow. It's cool. Nobody's going to know I'm missing. Yeah. Yeah. You guys look like you're having a good time. You two were the ones that told me you were gay last time, huh? <laughs> How's it working out? You guys still together? That's good. You guys taking those new AIDS pills? I bet. I'm so mad that they don't have AIDS prevention pills for females. Like, we're whores too. What? How come only guys, like, first you have to test negative. You have to be negative to take it to prevent AIDS. And it's like, why can't we take it too? I want to prevent AIDS. It's not fair that only the gay guys get to do it. It's not fair. Maybe just the guys I fuck can take it. I don't know. I don't know. Probably have that too. I'm just waiting for, for that phone call. Oh, I'm HIV. i be like, I probably gave it to you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. You wouldn't, you know, you didn't. Now I guess we could date. We're both positive. You know, uh, <laughs> it's kind of how it feels. You know they have an app for people that have herpes? Yeah, that's how some of my friends met. My friends said I should go on there, and I was like, yeah, there's probably too many guys I've already been with on there. I'm good. I like the, I like the guys that I hook up with to not have it. I like to give it to them. So I'm a giver. I'm a giver. It's horrible, right? It's horrible. Uh, 25 years, that's amazing. It's awesome. What are you two doing in the back? Are you guys dating too? Married? Everyone's married in this town. You're married, you not you two, but you're married. Huh? No single fucking men in here. There's just one 23-year-old single man-child. That's it. Fuck, where are all the single guys? I don't understand. Maybe they heard I was coming to town, so... They were like, we can't come out, their wives won't let them. Um, you know, but honestly, I don't mind actually fucking guys with kids as long as their wives are watching them. Uh, <laughs> I'll put that into my Tinder profile page. Yeah. What's that? That looks that looks amazing. <laughs> Why'd you bring your daughter to a comedy show? You knew it. You sat her right here. People are gonna harass her all night long. Yeah. What are, are you two best friends? You guys are kind of mad. No, not you and your husband. That would be dumb. No, shut up. No, it is not what I wanted to hear. Yeah, we are best friends. Stop it. I don't want to hear you and Hot Guy. No. Are you two? Are you two best friends? She's my sister. Oh, that's sweet. I never had a sister. She's my best friend, too. Oh, man. Older. No, I'm not. <laughs> on, on, in your house somewhere, in your house somewhere on the walls, it say, like, live, laugh, love. <laughs> It does. Do you have a crystal somewhere in here? Oh my god. Oh man. Your 
name is Crystal. It's of course with a C, right? Yeah, you don't want to do it wrong with a K. Um, at least, are your children at least, do they have, they don't all start with like an M or like so. I feel like a psychic right now, right? All your children start with an M. No, like they at least have different unique names right now. It's not like Melissa, Michael, Mavis, Apple. <laughs> Those are still pretty fucking white names. <laughs> Addison, I like all those names on his way too. Um, not like I chose to be better, I chose super white names too. I was like, fuck, easy to spell, easy to write, because I'm probably gonna have dumb kids, so let's not spell them wrong. Also, <laughs> go with Emma and Noah. Those are easy names. My grandma can pronounce them, because she's from Italy and can't pronounce shit. So let's just go with some easy ones. <laughs> Let's get it done. Um, that's cool. Are you the oldest? No. Oh, no? No, you guys are popping out kids way before you're married. That's fucking fantastic. That's fucking cool. That's awesome. Your sister's your best friend. Your husband's your best friend. You probably love all your kids the same. I love my daughter right now more than my son. I do. I'm not going to lie. I do. She's a better person. You know, she doesn't pick on me for not knowing Pokemon characters. I pick on my son all the time. I'm like, you're 17, you've never had a girlfriend. You know how promiscuous I was at this age? This is your time to shine. And he's like, mom, no, absolutely not. Your mom may not talk to you like that. That's how I talk to my children. Sounds like you had a better upbringing than me. <laughs> Parents are still married, they love each other, they're cute. Fuck, whole different world. I'm so jealous of you. Caitlin, it was Caitlin? Yep. Yeah, it was one of them. Taylor Addison. She probably got to pick all the names because your dad's just like, yeah, do whatever you want, you're hot. She sucks my dick. And I like it. She still does, by the way, Caitlin. Uh, enjoy your food. Enjoy your food. Uh, yeah, old people still hook up. Uh, believe it or not, I'm on Tinder. I've got great pictures on there. I've got some hot pictures on Tinder. Yeah. I'm waiting for, uh, you know, I don't know, my daughter to come across them because she's into guys and girls. And I'm like, wait till you come across your mom on Tinder. That would be hot. Yeah. What's your age range? Go in there and fuck with their age range, right? That'd be inappropriate. So my pictures are super hot. Anyways, your dad would do great on Tinder, so would your mom. Your mom would be fucking. They make movies about your parents. I watched one today. <laughs> it was on XNXX. Uh, they weren't a happily married couple, though. Uh, that one was earlier, where the black guy walked in, too. Uh, but your parents were happy. They were a couple together, sitting. Your dad was sitting in a chair, awkwardly, and your mom was doing other things. But <laughs> I watched that one earlier. But the one... Yeah, I, I really like bald guys. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that so much. I've ruined your daughter's life. At least Christmas will be fun. She'll be like, get up, I'm never going by their room again. What are they doing? Oh, It's always worse when your kid walks in on you when you're with a stranger. You know, and they're like, who the fuck is that? I'm like, I don't know, shut the door. I forgot his name. Mike number one, I don't know. Fuck. Prison. What's your prison number? What's your ex-ref number? That's what I'm gonna start asking. Give me your ex-ref number if you wanna hang out. Two minutes. I can't really do much in two minutes. Um right? I always think I'm so busy during the day and I'm like, man, I haven't seen all all law and order SVU fucking episodes today. They're on from like seven AM to three PM and then they put wrestling on and then I realize during that time I'm never gonna get kidnapped and I'm upset about it. I'm like it'd be so easy. It'd be so easy, just tell me you make barbecue. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have a barbecue in my house, you can tell me that later, I'll go home with you. What is your name? My name? Yep. Chris. Oh, Christopher. <laughs> good man. Oh, wait, I'm in trouble. Christopher and Crystal. <laughs> 25 years, we're best friends. <laughs> so jealous of you, Crystal. <laughs> Your happy little life. I'd rather be your daughter, though, I think. I'd rather be your daughter. Like, just grow white, privileged. <laughs> I grew up, like, with my grandma, because my mom was a whore. So, 
That was, that was a good time. Having someone, a foreigner from this country raise you when she's like already 80. <laughs> yeah, she never let me do anything. <laughs> She wouldn't, she wouldn't, she wouldn't even let me fuck black guys. She was like, absolutely not. Mexican guys, nope. Black guys, nope. Um, but I think I'm going to, in honor of her, I think I'm going to. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's my time, I'm Danny D, thank you.